So as I was saying earlier, this part of the trail is fantastic. This Hi again, and welcome to another episode of Where Cars Don't Go. It's October 1st, 2016. And we're heading back to Foster Brook one more time, but we're going to take the back trail um, just to see what it's like. Apparently slightly longer, ever so slightly, um, but should be a different view. So, hope you join us. See you soon. So, so far the trail is a lot like the other side of the Foster Brook Trail, meaning it starts with a pretty steep uphill which I figure we're probably about halfway up, we're on a little flat spot here and it is going way up in that direction and way down in this direction but the obvious difference is um, this is kind of going up an old fire road rather than just, uh, just a wooded trail a little bit more open, a little bit more wind depends what you like I guess as you can see it's um it's clearly the beginning of autumn and hopefully we'll actually get a whole bunch of these nice color changes so obviously the road here is uh, in need of repair you can pretty much see the big holes in here but nonetheless it's a uh, look at this now those are some ruts but uh on foot not that big a deal although this by next spring is supposed to be open to mountain bikes and fat bikes which should be a lot of fun but there's some work to do let's see if we look here you can see just how steep the road is because you see the road way in the background and you see the road in the foreground but there's nothing in between it almost looks like a cliff Oh well, what are you going to do? So, I uh, haven't been taping a whole lot. Just not a whole lot to show. It's a very typical um, mixed forest and we're walking down a fire road. So it looks like we're almost at the uh, fork where the Marvin Lake Trail that we're currently on, this old logging road, is going to Veer off to the Foster Brook Trail. Big sign here. Seeing as much. Let's see what it says. This is what this part of the trail is going to look like. We'll see if we can get you a little more shots in here. Looks like it's going to be fun. Back to our Rudy trails. Already a big difference just walking down the trail nice and shady and I don't know if you guys can see this or not but right at the end here you can see there's almost a clearing I'd be willing to bet that's the river valley so so far this trail has been really really pleasant actually just really going through the woods nice little forested trail um, it's a pretty steep descent but other than that um, much nicer than the fire road that was leading here. So as I was saying earlier, this part of the trail is fantastic. This is just the nicest part of the trail, or of a lot, of probably of the best trail in Fundy National Park that I've seen in quite a while. Um, very reminiscent of the old rat tail trail that I keep talking about so much. Nice and smooth, very few rocks almost feel like a cushion under your feet as you're walking forward.
So you probably can't see, or maybe even hear that, but we definitely hear the Point Wolf River down there now. This trail has become exceedingly steep. You can see Charlene's just a little bit ahead of me and is almost out of frame already. So uh, we're going to make our way carefully down this. Um, still a beautiful trail, beautiful day. Can't wait to get down there. See you soon. So just taking a tiny little break here before we attempt this river crossing. Eileen's doing quite well. It's kind of funny where we were last uh, time. I seem to recall that we could have crossed, you know, without getting our feet wet even. And now I'm not sure if this is just a different spot in the river where the water is a little bit deeper or if the water levels have risen that much but let's just say we're glad that we brought traversing shoes you can see Charlene's moving in the right direction here you can almost see the uh, actually you can see right here the entrance to the trail across the river and Charlene is just about there so water is just uh, below her knees at worst. And I get to do it next. And I can tell from the, um, I can tell from the way, or rather the, the pitch of her voice, that it is a little cool. So, um, let's get going. As cold as it is, I thought I'd stop and show you this because what a wonderful view. Alrighty, no need for a shower tonight. So here we are back at the entrance to the campsites and um, I don't know if you can hear that on the video or not but the river sounds like it's actually a fair bit higher than it was a few weeks ago so maybe they just did just have a lot of rain and maybe that crossing actually isn't at a horrible place but we'll see. So you've already seen this in our last video, and I'll put a link to that so we can see it again, but um, I'll join you guys again once we're all set up. This is the river again, and you can see there's uh, the leaves are really starting to turn in here, some nice color. You can also see that it's starting to get a little bit dark, and um, both Charlene and I have had pretty long weeks. And so I think that we will be in bed very shortly. So that being said, um, good night and we'll catch you guys tomorrow. Well, I'm sure you've heard this sound before. Um, it is raining again. We didn't bother to show you us struggling to pack everything up in the wet site because you've seen a wet site here at Foster Brook just a few weeks ago. Um, but we managed to keep most things dry. So we'll take you along for the, the wet hike back as soon as we pack up. And uh, we decided to go with a breakfast of just uh, dried foods, granola, no need to cook out in this rain. Although we could, easily enough. But, hey, we're outside. See you soon. It's still raining, so let's just take one last look of this uh, beautiful area, Foster Brook campsite area in Fundy National Park. 
and we decided to uh, make this one a loop, so we're going to be going back, um, not the way we came in, but rather back the way we had come a few weeks ago. So I'll make a complete loop, and the only downside is we'll have a small uh, kilometer, two kilometer walk on the pavement to get back to the car. So, check in later. We will definitely let you know if the rain stops. Little boggy sections in the rain here. Nothing we can't handle. Sometimes it's a it's a pain to have to walk in the rain, but it's really beautiful to watch the sprinkles just in the water like that. Pretty much one last look for this year at the Point Wolf River from this angle because the trail is about to take a sharp left turn leading to the uphill that we saw last time and we won't get to see this river again until we're back so one last look Nice little bounty of mushrooms again. A little bit of a boggy area here. Just the beginning of this big hill. Beautiful moss. All the way up. So just up top of the, uh, the most severe of those uphills. Always a good time for a break. I just can't get over the moss here. So we're back at the trailhead to Foster Brook, but um, because we only have a single car and we didn't have any, didn't know anybody in this area to give us a drive, this is not the end for us. Um, we've got about a two kilometer hike still down the road to where we parked our car to complete the circuit. I'll, um, I'll try to put up a GPS map to show you the circuit we did. See you in a bit. So we found this nice little picnic area here. There are a few picnic tables under the trees. There's hardly any rain falling on me right now, though a few mosquitoes have found me. Um, the car is another 10 minutes away or so, and Charlene's volunteered to drop her pack here while I wait, and she'll go get the car. So that's the end of this trip. It's been another really fun trip. Thanks so much for joining us. And until next time, I hope you find the time to go where cars don't go. See you soon.